morning. Bismo here. I'm on the Nudgee Creek in the Nudgee Wetlands area. I'm out for a bit of exploration today. This is an environmentally protected area. It's a wetland zone and everything in here is protected. An important area for Australia and the world for our migratory shorebirds which populate these areas during migration seasons. The middle of winter now so it's not really migration season so I'm likely to not see anything but I'm just out today having fun. I already saw a, uh, a spoonbill. They're hard to see, but there's some cormorants, two black cormorants, and a, a, I think it's a pied cormorant just sitting on that log there. Good morning. Beautiful day. Beautiful day to be paddling around on the water. The Nudgee Wetlands is an environmentally protected area. It's part of a worldwide plan to try and save our wetlands all over the world. Thousands and thousands of migratory shorebirds come here each year. And even though it's winter, they're not, they're not really here this time of year. But it's an important environmental place to look after. We're lucky enough here in South East Brisbane to be able to enjoy these areas without them being closed off to the public. As long as you mind the rules and look after everything, it's okay. There's lots of walks through the wetlands, raised platforms to, to walk, walk through. It's really good. And the migratory shorebirds that come here they come from all over the world, from Europe, Asia, Siberia. They have to travel hundreds of kilometres just to get here. You might wonder how they actually do that. They can actually shut half of their brain down while they're flying and sleep. That's how they do it. So I'm here today just out to enjoy the day. Let's try and see as many birds as I can. All good. And I launch the kayak here and then head downstream till I get to this crossing just here. Then I'm going to bring the kayak across this crossing to Nunda Creek where I'll stop just here at this little wharf and have some breakfast. Should be nice. And then once I've had breakfast, I'm going to head upstream once again till I get to the marina at Sandgate before heading back.
Uh, this is the Nunda Creek. I'm going to stop here and have some breakfast. Couldn't ask for a better morning, so I cooked my bacon and eggs for breakfast. Woohoo! <laughs> Even made myself a nice fresh pot of coffee before I left this morning. Cook some toast. Definitely looking forward to that bacon and eggs. Oh, the sun's bright. Life doesn't get much better than this. I just saw some paddle boarders, they came out and passed me. They were pretty impressive. I had breakfast here. It's a bit better taste than the last lot I had. I just love getting out and doing this sort of stuff. All well, breakfast nearly ready. Those of you who are interested in my setup, my little console has a cigarette lighter, a socket on it, and a fuse, so I can plug the little solar panel that I have on the top of my esky lid into there and it keeps the battery of the trolling motor which is in the back of the kayak um, tipped up, topped up and I've got a like a little console and, and a drawer and a storage compartment in there where I can lock, actually lock stuff in there keep it safe. Well, that's not too bad How good is this? People think I'm weird, I don't care. <laughs> If you visit these areas and you do this sort of thing, take all your rubbish with you. Don't leave it here for other people. It's just irresponsible.
Let's try out the trolling motor. That's a life. Well, this is Nunda Creek and I accessed it between Nunda Creek via that little crossover bit. Pretty good, you can do that. It makes it all the way to Sandgate and spills into the Morton Bay, go out into the bay. I'm just going to get up as far as I can towards Sandgate today. Just chill out. Absolutely perfect day today. Coming up to the boat ramp at Sandgate now, I can see it up ahead there, so it's not far to Sandgate. And I was originally going to have um, breakfast at the uh, cafe up there, but I decided to just have it on the um, shores of the creek, which was a lot nicer. There's people viewing in that bird hide over there. There's too many birds to see today. If you enjoyed this little trip out to Nudger Creek and to Nunda Creek, I certainly did. See us on the next video.